name is Blake Fleetwood. I live in New York City. I'm a journalist. I used to work for the New York Times. I have covered Trump for 20 years. I now write for Huffington Post and other publications. Trump's speech this week before the UN was a success in, in terms of what he tried to accomplish. He's never had much use for the UN. He doesn't like them. And uh, basically, he was talking to his political base. And in that sense, he succeeded. He outraged the rest of the world, the diplomats and all the other countries. But he succeeded where he wanted to succeed. He's counting on using the techniques that worked in the campaign and uh, that have worked for his whole life. Uh, techniques like uh, insulting people, being rude, being arrogant, threatening people to help him succeed in the international theater. It worked in the campaign and it's worked in his uh, business life. But I don't know whether it'll work in terms of international affairs and uh, getting, keeping us out of war. The uh, agreement with Iran was a spectacular agreement. It, it delayed their nuclear program and stopped them from getting a nuclear bomb. And it was supported by Russia, Fran uh, Russia France, England, the whole uh, Europe. And uh, it's a very successful program. And it's kind of uh, interesting that R R Trump, who wants to stop North Korea from getting a nuclear bomb would pick on this uh, agreement with Iran. He's going to outrage all of our allies and friends. But I, don't, I think in the end he's going uh, he's going to tinker with it and he'll, he'll live up to it. He can't, he can't backtrack on, on all his promises to our friends. I think Trump is saying is is arguing for an America first policy and that each nation what he's saying is each nation must be selfish and must be greedy and must act in its own accords. This is an obvious point. Every country follows this principle, but nobody says it. And uh, Trump saying it out loud is somewhat shocking. Trump said he supported the United Nations. I think there is a future for the United Nations, but I don't. I think that you uh, have every nation is going to act in its own uh, best interest, sovereignty, and that's what Trump is saying. Uh, this is shocking, but I think there is a future in the United Nations, and I think there'll always be a future in the United Nations. Trump has also offered to keep funding the United Nations. Trump at the UN was a bully. He was threatening. He called people names. He aggravated the, the international situation. Uh, but I think he accomplished his purpose, which was to shore up his political base. And he doesn't care about what the rest of the world thinks. Obama was very popular in the rest of the world. Trump is hated throughout the world, and he doesn't care. Um, yes, it is contradictory, Trump's emphasis on sovereignty and uh, his threats of expansion. But so far, they're threats. He hasn't done anything. Trump has been an isolationist for 20, 30, 40 years from now. And when his threats turn into actions, that's when, uh, that's when the real contradiction stands. Just Words don't mean anything. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but, you know, words will never hurt me. Trump hasn't yet started a war. He's just made threats. Uh, his predecessors started wars, and they've sent troops into places. Trump hasn't done that that much. Trump has always had a, a policy of speaking first and figuring it out later. He doesn't it doesn't matter whether he keeps his promises, just as long as what he says in the first place accomplishes his purpose. And he wants to, uh, he wants to threaten the North Koreas. I, I don't think he's going to invade. Nobody thinks he's going to invade. We can't invade. But threatening them is good. It's like that movie Wag the Dog, where Robert De Niro 
was in trouble domestically and had to wage a small war against Albania. Trump is doing the same thing. He's not waging the war, but he's threatening to wage the war. And he's getting everybody all excited and riled up and hurling insults at each other. And it distracts from his political unpopularity. This is going to make him a little more popular, I think. Okay.